So I've got my hood up because my hair's awful again and I need a haircut and it's cold. Uh, today's session's a bit different. So how I've been saying like last few weeks have all been really long sessions. Oh, this looks awful actually, let me. Uh, yeah, last, last few weeks have all been like really long sessions. This week's a bit different. So it's two mile tempo at like five to 507. Then it's 10 by 400 off 30 seconds or 45 seconds or a minute, I can't remember, in 65 to 67s. And we do it along this long stretch because obviously the track's shut. It's an absolute nightmare because the wind goes one way. So it's going to be a massive difference in times. And then it's two mile tempo again at the end in the same pace. Uh, and someone, <laughs> someone decides to inter interrupt my video. But yeah, um, I'm going to get started and try and get it filmed. Someone a bit quicker today. Don't know how it's going to feel, but yeah. I'll uh, see you in a bit. As always, I'm sipping on my X Endurance. And it's currently like minus two, so that's fun. Just for some context on the temperature, this is slushed up in, in someone's car, so not even outside. So it's kind of stretchy. I'm not sure why you're filming here. It's a bit stretchy, it's just like a standard material. Really. It's like a Milan, which I think it's cool. PA from 16 had to go step up pressure zone had to make things right said whatever I do I'm grinding harder than them but a 9 to 5 I'm up all night trying to figure the play like a coach on a winter night blood I'm far from superman but she said that I'm her grip tonight right so I'm just going to talk for my session I need to find a hat before I start because all this is in, isn't a good look so so I'm sure by now you know I lose my hat every week and I've lost it again. And I've also lost my ex endurance, like, are they called buffs or snoods where you can sort of wear it? So I've got I've got something sent to me from the Running Shoe Guru, which is also the YouTube channel I do with someone else um, to check them out. So it's like a little package. I thought I'd unbox it now and I've got another one of these in it. So I'm gonna put this on over my head because I can't see myself with this hair. I'm gonna go with it. Oh, that just looks wrong as well, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll just roll with it. So quickly talk about the session and I'll show you what I've got from this little package. Uh, so the session, as I said before, was two by, well, two mile tempo, 10 by 400 with a minute's rest, two mile tempo. And there was like four or five minutes in between the tempo and the 400s. I think I averaged five minute mile in for the first two mile tempo and then all like 458. And then for the 400s, I averaged between 64 and 62. I think it was more like a 63, 62 average. I'm not entirely sure what the average was. It was really windy. So one direction you'd run 64, the other direction you'd run 62. It was really nice though. I actually felt really strong. And it's like the first, it's the first sort of like faster session I've done in since about November. And how many weeks that is, someone else can count it because I'm not gonna do it. Um, so I felt good. And then the second tempo, the second two mile tempo was in 455 I think with a 457 and then a 450 so that's what actually that's 454 453 isn't it so yeah it was really I'm really pleased with the session it felt great it was freezing though and I just, I, honestly I, when I say this I lose so many things especially when it's cold so I had my ex endurance buff on I'm going to call it now my gloves on which I can't find uh, so first of all in this little shoe box is this running running bear running bear quarters it it's just a nice little skinny material really handy for winter sort of stuff as like a even like a base layer really uh it's just nice and a nice little jacket to have next up is i haven't seen any of this by the way so this is like the first time i'm looking at it next up is what looks to be a quarter zip t-shirt which i don't actually have any of these and it's sort of similar similar material kind of stretchy uh so yeah this is kind of good for that sort of i guess summer 
really. Uh, and I, I do like my quarter zips as well. As you can see, I've got one of them now. Uh, this, this thing is, I've actually seen this and I'm most excited about. It's running underwear, but leggings. So you need like skinny stretch leggings, what you wear. I'm guessing on like cold days, just as an extra bit of warmth, but they're very, very stretchy and skinny. So they're not really gonna add any weight there. Socks. So this is Folke socks, another pair of Folke socks, more mile socks or challenger, challenger running socks. These are nice. Uh, a big resistance band. Look at this. That's in the half of it as well. So that's fun. This is like to do, I mainly do like stretches with this resistant band then really. Uh, I'll film a video on that at some point. Standard. Thank you, Running Shoe Guru. Uh, yeah. I always forget, I need to say what shoes I'm running in, seeing as though it's kind of helpful. So for my tempo, I ran in the Sacconi Endorphin Speed. I've spoke about this a lot of times. Best shoe ever. Doesn't need an explanation. Phenomenal shoe. Even still, like they're amazing. So yeah, that's that. And then I wore the Vaporfly 4% Flyknit for my 400s, because basically for the 10k on track you've got to run in spikes and i've been running in higher stack shoes so i'm going to try and gradually get back down to sort of a more aggressive shoe and today this is it because it's a bit less stack height than the next percent and it's a bit more aggressive than the next percent so i thought i'd stick this on to try and get used to running in spikes again because at the minute we can't go on a track to run in spikes so this is the closest thing i've got to the dragonfly so yeah that's that i won't throw these because we've got a common fly and plate in so i did have a video yesterday but it's confusing because i haven't recorded that video yet but i'm uploading it today which is saturday and this comes out on sunday so a video yesterday is about the oregon mile what just happened i'm not going to give it away go and watch that race ridiculous and then i think i'm gonna have a video tomorrow as well which is going to be the joshua chapter guy 5k in the street fly providing that he runs well uh if not i might not make one but yeah so stay tuned for them or have a nice weekend whatever week i don't know whenever you're watching this now check this door